Good morning, Ron Stars. Oh my goodness. Let's see who's here. Who is here with me today? Woo! It is Monday morning motivation. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to be motivated to get ready to start your week? Because listen, how you start determines how you finish, you guys. We got to come out with a bang this morning. Bang! Hey, Deborah Th Phillips. Deborah Phipps. All right, Deborah Phipps. I've been wearing my fifth Fears and Fabulous t-shirt. We had an amazing workout on YouTube. It was like chill, but we got it done. Right, Shireen? We got it done. So today's topic is Keila B in the house. All right, I see you, Carla Thomas. I see you, George Summers. Good morning. Good morning, Laura Valdez and Mark Newby. Hello, hello. It's Monday morning live, and we are here to start our week off right. And I want to tell you something. When I, I, I wake up with a message, right? I wake up with a message that I must share with you guys. And today's message was, how do you turn your pain, your pain into power? Okay, how do you turn your pain into power? And how do you turn your struggles into success, right? There's a way you can do that. I want you guys to watch what I did. Watch what I did. I said, how do you turn your pain into power, okay? So listen, did you watch? Did you watch what I did? Good morning, Tony. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Stephania. Okay, I put it in my body, right? So listen, when you put your energy through your body and out to the universe with an intention, right? With an intention, you create a vibration, a vibration to match your intention. Oh my God, right? So when you have pain, right? It makes you feel like this. Oh, oh, like you feel it deep in and your body starts to do this, right? Right, but then you make a decision. You make a switch. You say, you know what? I'm gonna use my pain. I'm gonna use my pain. I'm gonna use my grief. I'm gonna use my sorrow. And I am going to rise up, rise up and turn my pain into power, right? And then we do movements like this, right? That's what we do. We do movements like that. So guess what? When you wake up in the morning, woo! All right, when you wake up in the morning, with the Tiffany Roth workouts, you get to turn your pain into power by putting it in your body, right? By putting the movement of your emotions into your body, okay? So how is another way that you can do that, right? There is another way. There's another way. Even though, listen, let me tell you something. After you work out, after you work out, you can't be sad. You cannot be sad. You cannot be weak. You can only feel how powerful and great that you can be. When you finish that workout, you say, yes, I did it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am worthy, right, to take care of myself, to get stronger in mind, body, and spirit. So you translate your pain through power through your body movements, right? And it shows. So hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. When you have your body, it communicates more than anything. So watch this. I don't have to say much, right? When you walk into a room feeling like this, you have said a lot. You have said a lot. Right? So, but when you walk into the room like this, hey, you're saying something too, right? You're saying something too. So how do you want to walk into the room? Do you want to walk into the room like this? Okay? That is like carrying your pain with you everywhere you go, right? Or you can shake it off and you can Turn that pain into power. Put that victory into your body. And you get to do that every morning when you work out. Hey, that's right. Because when you work out, every single movement turns pain to power. Okay? So you're doing a squat. You turn pain, see that, to power. You see that? You turn pain to power. Oh, my God. What? What? You turn pain to power. Let's see what you do. When you do a 
a sit up. You might have to grab. You turn pain mm, to power. You get up. You get up, right? When you do a lunge, right, you stretch outside of that comfort zone. You turn that pain, boom, to power. Stretch outside that comfort zone. Pain to power, right? So you can do that in every single aspect of your life, right? You can do that in every single aspect. Biceps, pain, power, pain, power, pain, power, right? So you can do that with your words too, with your words. So you can say, I don't know if I can do that. I can't afford that. That's too much, blah, blah, blah. Or you can say, yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can. So you can turn your language of pain to power, right? So nothing is happening in life to you. If you want to own, if you want to own your experience, then everything in life happens for you, no matter what it is. So every, like whatever kind of experiences that you had, if they were negative, if it was abuse, if it was suffering, if it was, if it was rape, if it was uh, molestation, if it was uh, starvation, whatever you had, if you say this happened to me, you are powerless to change it, baby. But if you say what? This is mine. It happened for me. It happened for my highest and greatest good because I'm going to rise to shine from this. On these rocks, I shall climb, right? On these rocks, I shall climb. That's how you make your pain powerful when you rise up, when you rise up and you stand up and you say, this is for me. Nothing happened to me. This is all for me because I am powerful. I am so powerful. I can change the circumstances by the way I show up in the room and I practice it every single day. Woo! I practice how to put it in my body. Woo! I practice how to do it every day so that I can be strong in my body and spirit. Okay, mind, body, and spirit. You guys are powerful. You're more powerful than you know. How do you turn your struggle into success, right? How do you turn your struggle into success? You know what? One of the keys to being successful in life is to fail forward, right? To make failure okay, right? When you first work out, right? You work out, you're like, oh, God. Oh, God, Tiffany. No, no more. I can't do this. And then you get up and you do it the next day. It's a little bit better, right? It's a little bit better. You might be sore. You might be sore, but you know you did it yesterday. So you might be able to do a little bit more today. Then you say, you know what, Kali, that hurt, but I kind of feel a little bit better. So you wake up again the next day, and guess what? You have a little bit more energy, right? You have a little bit more energy, and you can do it better. And then each and every day, you get better and better. What? Oh, my God. But in order to do that, you get to get back up. You get to practice falling down. You get to practice failing. You get to know what it's like to like not succeed so that you can get up and get stronger every day. Just imagine if you only walked flat, right? If you only walked flat, you would never ever know what it's like to rise. Oh my God, what? If you only walked in a straight line, you would never know how good it feels to rise to the mountaintops, to see what's on the top, what's there. And it, it increases your viewpoint in the world, right? So you get to turn your, your struggle into success. When you're going up that mountaintop, you are going towards your vision. You are climbing up towards your vision. You may fall down and get back up, fall down and get back up, fall down and get back up. But when you, every single time that you get up, you are stronger. So own it. Own it. Now listen, there's another thing. There's another thing. Don't stay in the struggle. It's only a step. The struggle is only a step. That's only a step. It is not the destination, right? The struggle is only your first step. When you first start to walk, you wobble. When you first start to work out, it hurts. When you first start your new job, you're insecure. When you're in a relationship, oh, you don't know that person, you're insecure. Every first step is difficult, you guys. Don't stop there. Take a next step, and a next step, and a next step. And every time that you take a step, you turn that experience into something 
for you. You turn that experience into something powerful. You do that every single step. Turn your struggle to success. And it's a mindset, you guys. It's a mindset. Struggle is not the destination, baby. It is not the destination. And you got to check yourself. You got to check your brain. How long do you stay there? How long do you stay in the struggle? How long do you stay in the not enough? How long do you stay broke? How long do you stay in I can't? How long do you stay in I won't? How long do you say it is his fault? How long do you stay in that position of victimhood, of powerlessness, okay? As soon as you take back your power and say, this is all for me. Hey, you know, God will not give me more than I can handle. This is all for me. The more that is given to me, the stronger I will rise, right? The the more that is given to me, the stronger I will rise. But don't stay in the struggle. Don't stay. It's just a step, you guys. It's just a step. And what happens is people get stuck. They get stuck because they get comfortable struggling, right? When you get comfortable in that zone of struggle, people start feeling sorry for you. They're like, oh, no, I, I, she needs to help. She can't do it. She's weak. He's weak. Oh, no, she can't afford that. Oh, no, that's not possible for her. You get stuck in there. Guess what? Just go ahead. Just go ahead and crown yourself the queen of struggle. You want to do that? Be the king and queen of struggle. You want to do that? Go ahead, right? But I say no. I say put your crown on when you know that you're going to rise to shine when you know that you're going to rise and accept your success in life, right? You got to accept your success. You got to accept it. That means you got to move away. You got to move away from that sob story. You got to move away from I can't. You got to move away from I won't. You got to move away from it hurts too bad. You got to move away from it's too so difficult. You got to move away from all of that. All of that pain and suffering, you got to keep going, right? You got to keep going until that you embody it in your mind, in your body, and in your spirit, right? You got to put that crown on, Shimmer. You got to put that crown on kings and queens, baby. You know what it is? You are the ruler of your mind. We are doing the queen in 2017 right now. You are the ruler of your mind and the creator of your dreams. You were born to reign. You were born to rise. Kings and queens, baby, it's in here. How do you see yourself? Are you a peasant in your mind? Are you a peasant in your mind or are you royalty? How do you treat yourself? Do you treat yourself like a peasant or do you treat yourself like a queen? Okay, because that's how you will be. That is how you will be. And what does that mean? That means you get to be worthy. Kings and queens, they struggle too, right? But they struggle because they know they belong on top. Oh my God, they go through the struggles because they know they belong on top. And that's what you get to be. You get to be on the top of your life, right? You get to be on the throne of your life, you guys. That's it. Where is your vision? Where do you see yourself? Stop seeing yourself at the bottom. Stop seeing yourself stuck in the struggle. Stop seeing yourself in the mud. Stop seeing yourself as not enough. Stop seeing yourself as broke. Stop seeing yourself as heartbroken. Stop seeing yourself as unhealthy. Stop and rise. Put your crown on and become the ruler of your life. What? What? Become the ruler of your life, right? Expect the best. Expect the best. That is my message to you guys. I love you so much. If you want to rise and elevate yourself in mind, body, and spirit daily, daily, I'm going to lift you up in ways that you have never imagined. Join me this June in Tulum for the Fit fierce and fabulous retreat. There will be no experience. There is no other. We have a few spaces left. Sign up today. I love you guys.